Uh, last year, uh, Reuters decided to investigate uh, the body trade, which is the body broker market. Uh, people donate their bodies to science, and they're solicited by firms who then take this altruistic gift and they chop up the different parts, the heads, the arms, the limbs, and then they sell them for profit to researchers and to um, uh, scientific training organizations uh, and medical organizations. And um, while doing this, what we realized was this industry is completely unregulated. And there's really, it's really done in a matter of trust. And we wanted to find out how regulated or unregulated it was. And so we decided that uh, the only way really to do this was to try to buy body parts ourselves. Um, and as journalists, we had never done anything like this before. Um, and you know, we were nervous about it. We wanted to get it right, do it ethically, um, and of course, legally. And, uh, so what we did was we um, enlisted the help of a, uh, some, some of the world's foremost experts at the University of Minnesota um, in Minneapolis. And um, we found out the legal way to do it. And um, so Brian uh, sent several emails to sev several of the brokers. Um, and he uh, uh, just identified himself as Brian Grove, Thomson Reuters. Um, wanted to be careful to be straightforward about everything. Um, and. Uh, uh, we set up a, um, uh, a virtual office in Minneapolis, um, right, right near the University of Minnesota, so that um, after the body parts arrived, um, we could take them and take them directly to the University of Minnesota, and um, we could uh, you know, make sure that they were in proper care. Um, this was important. Um, our editors, uh, Blake Morrison and Mike Williams, wanted to make sure that you know that we kept proper care of, of, the, of the parts. Um, after the two heads and the spine arrived, um, we uh, decided to try to, to trace the origins, to find out you know, whose heads were these, whose spine was this. And uh, we did this through uh, going through a series of obituaries um, in, in the Tennessee area. The person who sold us the, um, the heads and the spine was from, uh, from Tennessee. Um, we d were able fairly quickly to identify um, the person who uh, whose spine it was, um, and unfortunately it came from, uh, from the body of, um, of a 24-year-old uh, named Cody Saunders who had lived a very, very difficult life, um, and his parents, uh, Richard and Angie, who lived in southern Tennessee. Um, one of the things that, that, that Brian really groped with and, uh, you know, that we talked about a lot was how to approach these, these families and, um, you know, and how to, um, uh, you know, to tell them what, what had happened. Um, one of the things we wanted to do, of course, was to make sure that we had the right person. So we waited for a few months, and what we did was we did a couple of DNA tests just to make sure that we had the right, right person. Um, and then Brian decided, uh, he, we had long talks about this, and uh, decided basically to follow the golden rule. You know, um, how, would, how would you want uh, someone to, uh, to tell you this news, this, this really surprising, disturbing news? Um, and I think... And I think uh, that's what you know. That's what Brian did. He went down there and uh, kind of an unusual interview. Um, you know, lots of hugs, lots of uh, long discussions about Cody's life. And in the story itself, we tried to uh, you know to, to honor Cody's gift and uh, you know what he intended by um, uh, by doing it in the way we did, and also in the way that we um, wrote the story.